A year ago, I did some sort of genre mixing challenge where I had to mix like R&B with liquid drum and bass. It didn't really go to plan, but since then I've been looking for an excuse to try liquid drum and bass again because it was actually pretty good fun. But recently I've had the opportunity to cook up with a very talented multi-genre producer, Reverso. She sent me a liquid drum and bass sample and I'm going to attempt to turn it into a full track. And she's going to break down how she made the sample and at the very end I'm going to send her the final track to get her reaction. And I'm getting kind of bored of talking now so I'm going to let her break down the sample. I start with this pad from Analog Lab and I write a simple progression. The first chord is B minor, then I use the sixth degree of the scale, G major, I copy and paste the first chord, and the last chord on the fifth degree. I put this one down and this run up. Okay, now we copy and paste everything and I randomize the velocity, I'll test to instrumentize the chords. Okay, perfect. Now I choose this pad from this bank and I copy and paste the same pattern. I pick this wrist pass from Splice, I adjust the attack and the release. The best simply follow the root notes. I use this vocal, it seems like a riser. found this texture in Omnisphere and I simply played the beat on the piano roll. I picked this vocal drone to create more tension. Now it's time to record a homemade vocal. I can do it. A trick you can use in this genre to create a vocal texture is to take any part of the vocal, then consolidate and put the track on the mixer. I use one of my favorite reverbing guitar rig. This one. Uh, yes. And now I turn up all the decay and the mix. Consolidate so up to 17 and it sounds like this. In the end, I add two tremulator, one with the right them to one eight, and the other with one four. Okay, now I send everything to Caldrew and it'll finish the work. All right, so here's the final sample. And before I try and flip it, I'll play it again because I actually haven't listened to it in a while. I can definitely do something with this. I don't really know where to start though. Uh, like, are you supposed to start with drums in this genre? I have no idea. I guess the first thing to probably do is to break down all the constituent elements of the sample. So I'm going to separate them. All right, I think to turn this into a full track, the first thing I'm gonna wanna change is the chord progression and maybe change the key as well. Real quick, I'm gonna open up Serum. 
and she's also sent over the MIDI files for the pad as well so I can see exactly what the chord progression is and I think it's best that I move a couple things around and I'm going to move the chord progression to one side and then build my own right next to it in this space here. Okay, my CPU load is creeping. Now obviously because I'm using a different chord progression it's going to create some inconsistencies with the rest of the elements. What I'm going to do is just increase the pitch of the original sample and I'm going to keep elements of the sample that don't clash with the chord progression that I've just laid down. So of course the sample had these vocals, but I want to have a bit more control over the effects that are on that. I'm going to route this to a mixer track and I'm going to see how close I can get it to the original sample. And I think to finish off this vocal chain, I'm going to add a tremor later and I'm going to shape it so it's only active in the second part of the sample. I think I want to add a couple more melodic elements. I'm going to copy the chords into this sound and then I'm going to shorten them and then I'm going to strum them. And now I want some sort of high pitched lead or plug for the chords as well. something similar to that again but I want it slightly more aggressive so I might use a different shape I just realized I'm still not that confident with sound selection for liquid drum and bass now we'll see how it goes for my favorite part. To be honest, I really don't think the drums need that much more, but I think it probably could use something in the background, so I'm just gonna throw like a percussion loop over it and see what that sounds like. Trying to keep the track as simple as possible and real quick i'm going to mix it down arrange it and then i'll send the final track to reversal to see what she thinks about it
probably should go through what I've done because so many things have changed about this track. I think most notable change is I've added an up because I felt like the chords were missing something. I also added a second automation clip in the vocal. So as the vocal progresses, less and less reverb is audible. But only in areas where I want the sample to sound slightly more ambient and in the background. It was kind of fun to mess with some drum and bass effects, so like this one sounds pretty cool. Dude, when am I ever going to use this in like a little baby type beat? Like, I don't know, it just sounds cool. But yeah, I think at this point the track's basically done. I think I'm just going to send it to reversal and see what she thinks of it. So hopefully Reversal likes the way I flipped her sample. I think personally, I think I could have done way better with the effects. And since I'm not too experienced with mixing this genre at the levels of some of the instruments could use some work. But I think for like my second or third attempt, it's pretty good. Big thank you to Reversal for sending over the sample and giving me an excuse to make liquid drum and bass again. But of course, thank you for watching. I'd say if you haven't checked out Reversal's channel, feel free to check it out. She has some very informative beat breakdowns on there with a lot of different styles and genres that I think are very valuable. But yeah, I'm going to play the final beat and we can see what I could do better for next time. <laughs>